Many of you who have subscribed to my channel have asked, so I am doing this. It is the Wonderwall Entertainment Projector Review from Discovery Networks, or so it's under their name at least. It claims you can do a 120 inch image. Diagonally measured, of course, four by three aspect. It claims as an adjustable image size, you can connect DVD and other composite video players. And of course, because it's a projector, you can supersize your games. Also included, which I will show you here, comes with a DVD from the Discovery Channel Pushing the Limits. An episode of Shark Week, Out in the Wild, and Medicine Men Gone Wild. And it has a description. Inside here, of course, is the DVD, as well as the instruction manual. This covers the controls that are on the projector. It comes with a set of audio video cables, which I am using right now on the Arcos. And here's the projector itself. Here's the aforementioned control panel, which that sticker covered. Some of the residue is still there. I've noticed it's a major, major fingerprint collector. You got greasy, you got greasy hands. You're gonna, it's gonna mark up. It's a relatively small projector, and as you can hear, it's exhausted quite well. And uh, here's the lens, obviously, and you focus the projector using this. And it has a handrail, or handle, in which you can prop the projector up. And it's also capable of standing up on end and casting an image, which it's doing right now which you cannot do with a regular business projector unless it's one of the Picos or Picos depending on how you like to pronounce it so what do we have you can hook up any composite com uh, video that you have it has a volume control and you can adjust the color intensity and the contrast which out of the box there was no color and ridiculously oversaturated contrast, which I fixed. So these will need adjustment. Now for the video. And we'll get more into it in a little bit. Right now we're doing a color purity test. Now it's lit with a halogen bulb, which is producing colors that are more on the yellowish side. After all, it is uh, halogen. And I've got this image focused. What you notice in the center, and we'll get to that in a moment, is that the image is more blurred. The resolution of the image is 320 by 200. And I don't know if it's showing up on video, but you can kind of see the dot pitch. I believe this is projector. It was they made a different projector. I forgot what it was, but it had a built-in DVD player. Oh, and by the way, this projector does not have an included DVD player, unlike that other one. So, you want AV to be projected? You got to provide it yourself. Anyway, we got these bars here. Next test pattern is it's supposed to go to the next one it's supposed to go to the next one which it didn't Here you can see that it gets really blurry in the middle, and yes, this is focused in. 
and see as I'm adjusting it, it's getting blurrier. Now it's clear, now it's getting blurry again. And like I said, I'll show you why in a moment. Next. Well, this will definitely show it. Here's your Indian test pattern. As you can, uh, I don't know if it's showing up on video, the camera's color correcting it, but the white appears rather yellowish. There is no, it is not white. And our typical color test pattern here. And there you have it. Now, you can adjust the color, or in this case, I'm adjusting contrast. Then there's your color. And suddenly we switch images on our own. Anyway, that's that. And this is obviously a toy. And we're going to compare just one image or a couple with the professional $250 3M projector, which you can clearly see picture is much sharper and the blacks and that are much better. I mean that's all you really need to see right there. And in terms of color like I said this is a this is a uh, professional model if you're willing to spend around 300 bucks for it. Alrighty, so how does it do with audio and video? Let's find out. So what I'm going to do now is hook up my camcorder. And what I'm going to do is bring it to a picture that, pardon the view right now, I got private pictures I don't want the general public to see. Alright, there we go. Now I'm going to hook it into the projector itself. This is the Carter building here in Leominster. And this is what video quality looks like with the light on. And here it is with the light off and I undershot the color a little bit. There we go. So yeah, color reproduction is not the best. It's looking much better on video. Like I said, everything is yellowish. Blues are weak. Red is obviously strong. And as, you, as I mentioned, there's a blurry spot in the middle. That's because it has a halogen lamp with a poor reflector on it. And we'll demonstrate that here. I don't know if it's showing up for you or not. No, it isn't. But what you see is maybe it'll show up here. No, it won't. What you have is a ring of solid light but there is a black void here and light from the filament this void and filament is causing an oddball reflection thus it leaves a blurred image in the center alrighty now for video it'll be relatively simple it'll just be a video of me driving around because we got to avoid copyright infringement. 
And as you can see, the video refresh rate is pretty good. Unfortunately, the video quality is lackluster because of the resolution. As I usually do, I exercise showing the dot pitch. And I'm doing that by putting the video on a dark on the wall right here. Here's your dot pitch. It's hard to see because the lens quality is so poor, but you got your Delta style red, green, and blue. You got your red, green, and blue uh, elements. And again, here it is with the lights on. Now if you're about five feet away, this is approximately 120 watts worth of light using the old-fashioned 60 watt bulbs. It's a little dark, so you might want to be about four feet away if you're using it in light. It, it can do 120 inches. It, it is going to be hard to do. There it is at approximately that. It shows up a little darker on camera than it is in real life, but it shows up very well. Might be slightly darker because I got limited space and the cables allow for very limited mobility. Alrighty. So the video quality is rather poor on this projector. And I'm going to demonstrate yet again with the M-Pro. No audio because it's straining. The audio is coming from the other projector. So you can see obviously a professional projector worth about 250, 300 bucks, obviously a lot better. And you can go a lot bigger. It it does the colors are actually pretty good. The camera's just making it look dark. I believe you can see it right here when that shuts off. There you go. It's a relatively uneven, relatively uneven image. We'll point it up. I'm sure you can see that right there the image is brighter. That's because once again we got our little, I don't know if I'm doing it the right way. I think I am. There we go. See how it's got the dark, there's a dark void in the center? That's the, uh, that's the light output from the reflectors, which are very poor. Audio-wise, uh, audio-wise, it does pretty well. I'm going to disconnect that and put it back on the deep wonder wall. And refocus, which is going to take a while. So uh, in conclusion, uh, the color is rather poor because simply because you're using a halogen bulb, which is yellowish in nature, and this camera's making it look better than what it really is. It's blurry in the middle because they used a very poor halogen bulb with a really bad reflector, and the image will appear rather low res because it's only a 320 by 240 delta style red green blue pattern so that's the review of this projector you know for a for something on the fly it's alright but if you're looking for something better maybe get something like an M Pro 120 or equivalent 
So, yeah, it's your call.